Hi guys! Do you like my messy room? I sure hope so because I don't. <laughs> um, you're really gonna have to excuse it. You guys know like how hard I try to clean but then it gets messy just like a day after because I leave somewhere and then I come back and I don't have time to clean it. Um, and I would rather sit here and film a video explaining to you why I don't wear deodorant rather than clean my room. Just because I'm a big procrastinator and procrastinators unite tomorrow. So um, today's video, I'm going to tell you why I don't wear deodorant. And when I say that, a lot of people are like, what the heck? And they like, you know, kind of get grossed out and like move away from me. Um, I don't wear deodorant. There are certain instances that I will. Um, but generally, I haven't worn deodorant in years more than, yo. So, you want to come in, baby? You want to hear about why I don't wear deodorant? You want to sit with me? Um, I love you. I love you too. Do you want to sit with me? Sorry. Look at you, Mr. Cutie Pie. I don't want to distract you. You're not distracting me. I love you. Can I come back? Oh, you left me. I love you too. I like your PJs. <laughs> he knows I don't wear deodorant. Um, but I have not worn deodorant in years. And, I mean, like, daily. There are, like, maybe once a month for the past three or four years I've worn deodorant um, and it's only when I really need it and the reason why is quite a while ago you know I've never had my heavy metals toxid toxid what am I talking I have never had my heavy metal levels tested and heavy metals are basically it's the idea that the things we do in daily life the things we eat um, and the deodorant we put on our armpits etc can actually be you know absorbed through our skin um, and can actually kind of stay in our body and cause some problems. And I'm going to have to look up, I don't know exactly which tests or which studies have been done on it, um, but there are possible links to autism or to ADHD um, or to Alzheimer's disease or to heart disease, um, things like that. And when I found this out, it was actually through toothpaste when I was younger, which I still use a regular toothpaste. I know I'm really not good at it. Um, but I really started freaking out about my baking soda and my deodorant and I bought like this aluminum free baking soda and I think I've used a little bit of it but not enough of it but something that I have stuck pretty religious to is either using an aluminum free deodorant or using alternatives to deodorant um, so why have I not worn deodorant? A, because of this idea that there's a possible link to some health problems. B, because I don't like carrying a stick around like this. Um, it's just annoying. Sometimes I carry like the mini travel ones, which aren't aluminum free. Those are like the men's ones because they smell good. Um, the other thing about deodorant is that A, it doesn't make, or B, C, whatever number we're on, doesn't make me stop perspiring and then it always gets my clothing white or gray or even if it's a clearless deodorant it always gets it like a different color you know what I'm meaning or it stains it and I will show you there are some traditional deodorants that I do use which I will talk about at the very end of this video because hey once a month it's what's available or I really need to stop perspiring to a different degree or you know whatever um, but generally, I am not a deodorant fan unless I'm traveling or unless it's like a weird day of the week that I decide to use a regular deodorant. Um, so the first thing I have to talk about is my body odor. You guys know that I am Italian and I don't know if that has anything to do with body odor, but my dad is really a stinky person and I think that I just inherited those genes. Like if I do not take a shower after I exercise, then I stink. And it also has to do with your diet. I know that people who eat a diet that's high in sugars and high in fats and high in carbohydrates um, and high in salt will have stinkier body odor than one who eats natural and just like vegetables all day. Um, so I guess I'll rephrase that. I'm not a super stinky person. I'm a super stinky person when I eat the things that I want to eat. And when I actually try to eat healthy, I'm not that stinky. Um, but perspiration also here in California, it's a little bit warmer. Sometimes it's an issue, sometimes it's not. But I just kind of want to take you through what I use and some aluminum-free alternatives. So if I'm feeling like a stick deodorant kind of gal, this is usually what I go for. This is Tom's of Maine. This is an aluminum free um, odor protection. This one is unscented. Um, it's an aluminum free deodorant stick. And this works by basically stopping the bacteria from growing. What causes sweat to smell? Bacteria eats away at the sweat and it's like it's byproduct. It's poops and it's farts that stinks so bad. So this works by killing the bacteria so that, that way we don't have that stank problem. Um, and there is glycol in here, there's water, there's sodium, there's aloe vera. 
Um, I think there's chamomile. I can't read it because I was looking at the light and now it's like, ah, all bright on me. Um, it doesn't have any smell, but this is generally what I use. And the reason that it's okay for me is because A, it's aluminum free. B, it's kind of like a clear like this. So it really doesn't give me problems with like a white or a gray. And also if I do, like, you know how sometimes you put on deodorant and it gets on your clothing? What's great about this is that it doesn't stain. So I just put it on my jacket. You guys can see it's like a little bit wet, but it doesn't actually stain my clothing. And I've used this with silk. I've used this with um, cashmere and wool and really delicate materials. Like I don't shove it on my material like I just did here, but I put it on my armpit and it hasn't stained like some other deodorants have. Um, so if you are a stick kind of deodorant person and you love using you love using a stick deodorant, this would probably be the easiest switch for you in aluminum free stick. Um, but I'll be honest, I don't even use this as much as I should. Um, two of my favorite kind of deodorant alternatives are one that I actually got at Whole Foods and one that I actually got online. And I'll talk about this one first because it's a little bit more you know, traditional. This is the Crystal Body Deodorant Spray. This is a spray that you can spray onto your armpit and it stops you from sweating. And sometimes you have to like let it soak in and do this kind of thing because I mean, it is a liquid. You have to let it, excuse me, I just burped. You have to let it like sit on there. Um, otherwise, you know, you can't just get dressed immediately. Otherwise your clothes will get a little bit wet, but it doesn't stain which I love, and it does kind of stop the sweat from even happening in the first place. And the ingredients are here, it says, let's see, it's basically water, natural mineral salts. So that's literally all it is, is special salt and water, purified water. Um, and it's hypoallergenic as well, so even if something like this breaks you out, you know, a lot of people get like bumps on their armpit that they think is acne. Usually those are just ingrown hairs. Could be from shaving, could be from waxing, or it could be from a stick deodorant. Um, so this is just one option that I like to use. Works for me. Yay! Um, the very last thing that's a non-aluminum alternative for me is actually lavender oil. Um, and I found this out ages ago. This is um, lavender oil from Young Living. This is the line I've been using forever. Um, they're basically a line of essential oils and I have like a whole bag of them. And these are used for various purposes to help healing, to help mind, to help stimulation, to help sleep, depending on what it is you need. And you can put them in your bath water, you can put them on your wrist, you can put them on your chest, um, you can even massage them into your scalp or into your hair, depending on how you want to use them. Um, and lavender has many, many purposes, so this is definitely not the only purpose I use lavender for. But one of the purposes is for my armpit stank. And I believe that it works by inhibiting the growth of bacteria, such as this deodorant does, but I'm not exactly sure. But what I'll do, I'll legitly just take, and these last you a long time, by the way, I'll just take a little bit of this lavender oil, and you guys can see it kind of has a topper like that. And this is the one that I use for other purposes, so I don't stick this one in my armpit, but this one is separate. And this is just like that mini little deodorant thing that travels with you. You know, you know how you have like those little travel deodorants? <clears throat> What is wrong with my voice? You know how you have like those little travel deodorants? This is like my mini uh, anti-aluminum travel deodorant alternative because it's mini. So I do shove this one like straight into my armpit and I just dab it on like this, you know, pat it in and kind of let it dry a little bit because if you get dressed immediately, it's like, you know, just like getting water on something. And once it's kind of dry, you know, air it out for about 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 seconds, um, wash your hands and you're ready to go. Um, it does not stain my clothes, it stops me from sweating, and what's actually nice about this is that it kind of gives off a lavendery smell. Um, so if you're ever like, you know, hugging someone or reaching up, every now and then you'll get like a little burst of lavender, which is actually really, really nice. And it's not overwhelming, you kind of have to search for it to find it. Um, but I really like it, and I noticed that when I put this on, if it's a really hot day and I sweat more, I smell it more. But if I put this on on like a winter day and I'm not sweating that much, I won't smell it. Um, it's not just because of clothing or anything, but I think that when I perspire more, this lavender smells more. So it's like it stops the sweat completely. Something else I do that I don't really think works, but I do it anyways, is that I spray perfume under my armpits. And perfume is aluminum free in most cases I believe but I'm sure perfume has a bunch of other stuff that's like not good for you um, but I put it under there sometimes and 
you know, it doesn't really help with the, the sweat production, but it does help with the smell. And I noticed the same thing. If I put perfume under there, like sometimes I'll use the unscented deodorant from Tom's, the traditional, and then I'll put some perfume under there. So that way when I do sweat, it smells like the perfume that I'm wearing. Um, but those are my alternatives, and I just do want to talk about the deodorant that I do use when I do use deodorant. Um, and I have one that's not here, it's a travel size. I use men's deodorant, and the reason why is because A, it protects better, um, it does leave a little bit of residue sometimes, so I'm not a big fan of that. Um, so far it hasn't ruined any clothing or stained it, um, but it is the Old Spice for men because it smells amazing. And I like put on my armpit and feel all cool and smell all nice. Um, I also do like Dove, Dove Clinical Production, uh, Protection, and Dove Ultimate. This is one I just haven't opened yet. This is the Dove Ultimate Sleeveless. And these do have... Um, these do have the titanium dioxide, or I'm sorry, the aluminum. What am I talking about? I can't even speak. This is what the other one looks like. Um, and this one is the aluminum by 20%. So it does have aluminum in it, and the warnings don't really say that. It says, you know, watch out, ask a doctor if you're pregnant or anything like that. Um, but what I do like about these is these are 24-hour, they are extra protective, um, and they do work. Even though they have aluminum in them, that one odd ball day of the month where I am stinking like a monster stink bomb, um, or that one day that I know I'm going to be out all day sweating. Um, or that one day that I'm wearing a completely sleeveless something or other. And I don't want to wear this because I don't want to smell like lavender. This one actually does let you, you know, go without the lines. But I just wanted to share that with you. So if you're looking for a good deodorant, these are my regular deodorant picks. And if you are interested in looking for alternatives that don't contain aluminum, um, this is a more traditional stick deodorant, this is a spray deodorant, and this is lavender oil that I shove underneath my armpit and smell wonderful all day and really, really love. And since lavender has other benefits when it enters your bloodstream, now this is an essential oil, um, not all lavender oil works the same, um, but this specific essential oil has such a fine, or it's supposed to have such a fine breakdown that it can enter the bloodstream and actually cause other health benefits. Um, so that's what I like about this too, is that not only am I not perspiring, not only do I smell good, um, but I'm getting other whole body effects when this really gets into my stream, bloodstream. Um, and that's not with all of them. This is like the Young Living line. It's just supposed to be a higher end line that will penetrate like that. Um, but go figure. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that this video helped you. If you do not use aluminum-free deodorant, or if you do use aluminum-free deodorant or deodorant alternatives, please share with me what you guys use. Like, I don't know, do you rub coffee mugs under your armpits and does it work? Like, tell me what you guys use because I think it's very, very interesting. And when I tell people I don't wear deodorant, they give me that <gasps> kind of face. And then when I explain it, they're like, oh, like, cool. Like, I want to go, you know, p pick up some salt water from Whole Foods for my armpit spray. Um, so, yeah, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Or if you do use traditional deodorant, tell me, do you like these? Or do you like a different brand? Or what works for you and what's your fave? So, yeah, me and my messy room... God, I need to start dealing with this. I'm going to deal with my room today. I promise. Maybe only half of it, but I'll try. Um, so that's what I'm going to go do now. But I love you guys. Hope this helps you. And I'll talk to you all soon. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.